Families may be left with no place to take their kids tomorrow as a long-standing daycare may be forced to close its doors this week. But the daycare cannot explain why. New at 10, Jenna Hanchard has been looking into this story to find out what led to this controversial decision. <laughs> Well, the state decided that this daycare can no longer serve many low-income families, and those are the children that go here. But they couldn't tell us why, and it seems like we can't get that answer. And that may force many of these people to leave and also may force them to close their doors. Each animal makes a special noise. In the game of musical chairs, almost everyone loses a seat. Come Thursday, all seats for children at Pandorama Daycare will most likely be gone because the center plans to close down. Farmer Grover has a farm. After 36 years of doing business here in the Kansas City, Kansas area, we're not happy at all. The Department of Children and Families terminated their contract with Pandorama without giving a reason, which means the daycare will be unable to serve children from low-income families, which represent the majority of their business. Everybody knows there's got to be a reason behind it. They don't just stop something for 36 years without a reason. And that's what they have done. 41 Action News has been digging for answers for the last two weeks. But it seems like we too are at the mercy of a strange game of musical chairs. The state is not revealing what specifically led to their decision to terminate the contract. In an email from the Department of Children and Families, a spokesperson says DCF relies on information from the health department to decide on a contract. But emails from a health department spokesperson say that isn't true. DCF suggests that we look into a history of complaints at the daycare from the health department. But the health department refused to give detailed information because those complaints are under investigation. Attorneys for the owners have been pushing the state for a formal hearing and to reconsider the termination of the contract so that low-income families won't be left without a seat. But court documents show those requests were denied. One child came and asked me, you guys not going to be here any longer, you know, and he was sad when he said that. And, you know, and that makes me sad there. Well, a spokesperson for the Department of Children and Families sent us a statement saying, in part, we hold our providers to high standards so Kansas children are cared for in a safe environment when their parents cannot be by their side. And right now, it's unclear whether there were specific complaints or comments or a survey uh, that the Department of Health collected that led to DCF terminating their contract. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, Jenny Hanchard, 41 Action News.